guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today is a very, very quick video. I'm literally filming this and uploading it as quick as I possibly can. I've just got out of a shower, so excuse my hair. Yes, let's get into this. So today I have just watched um, the Sony launch event, or the launch event, the release of the future of gaming that's what they called it my mind just went blank literally just went blank and yeah from this sony as as the title explained the future of gaming literally the future of their platform playstation 5 has been unveiled launched released yes i just wanted to post a short video just detailing like my first reaction to the console and i love it i absolutely love the design um it's futuristic it's literally what you would search online like if you typed in ps6 now and you saw all the concepts and stuff it's like an out there design like it's so out there so futuristic and i'm just i love it i did have one concern though when they first announced it obviously they have announced it like vertically on like a stand and stuff and currently i don't have that type of setup uh, so my first co concern was is it able to sit flat like can it lie down and there is an image online of it lying down flat so Thank you. Along with the PlayStation 5, we didn't get any like pricing or anything. We just got a like a look at like what the console actually looks like. And boy, it looks good, as I said. We also did get more hardware in terms of a headset. We had a media remote, which I'm definitely getting. We also had a dual charging station, which I'm also going to probably get because I always have two controllers. We also did have a HD camera. Now, we don't know what this is for. Um, there's more information, obviously, to, to tell us about. But is this able to work with PSVR? Is this able to use as a camera for like streaming? Like what is the purpose of this camera we we don't know the fine-tuned details of that camera but but as this event was the future of gaming uh there was a few games that really did catch my eye uh the first one and obviously the first one of the showcase itself was spider-man spider-man miles morales definitely gonna be getting that game 100 percent really really like spider-man still yet to finish it and this has just given me the urge now to just want to finish spider-man um and finish that game off i'm like 50% of the way through, I think I am, something like that. So I need to get on it. So if you want to see me stream that, let me know down below. So we saw Spider-Man, which I'm really looking forward to. Hitman 3 looked really, really good as well. There was a game called Project Athia, which I really liked the look of in terms of the visuals. Uh, the store, the trailer was very much just showcasing the features and the uh, and the visual aspect of the PlayStation 5. There wasn't much about the story of the actual game itself. So I'm intrigued to hear more about that game. I like the look of the new Ratchet & Clank. I've never played Ratchet & Clank before. Um, I think I actually I did. I might have like as a demo, you know, like in um, you know, like in the stores and stuff. Like when the PS4 first came out, I played a little bit of it. But I might actually pick up the PS4 version if I get it cheap on eBay or something. Just have a little go um, and see what it's like. NBA 2K21 looked really good as well, although it was very much just like a cinematic sports trailer with a sweat running down his nose. Yeah, it looks cool, but you know, didn't really see much. Another game which I'm definitely going to pick up is Horizon Horizon Zero Dawn because the sequel looked amazing. By far the best looking trailer. It looks almost done. It's literally fine-tuned and it's almost, almost complete by the looks of the trailer. So you need to go and check that trailer out. I'll link it down below. I'll link all the trailers down below. But I am super excited for PlayStation 5 and I will be getting it on launch day. I'm currently like saving up for it right now. I've got this thing with my bank where like say I spend £1.25, then it rounds it up to £2 and that 75 pence goes into a savings pot. So like I'm literally saving for this PS5 like every day. Every time I spend something... I'm saving. So I'm super excited for the console. I'm going to be getting it day one, as I said. And I will be unboxing on the channel and stuff. So stay tuned for that. I wanted to film this video really, really quickly and let you know my first impressions and make it quite short. Um, and I feel like I've done that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Are you going to be getting the PS5? Let me know down below. And um, we'll have a chat down there. What games did you like? Anyways, guys, thanks for listening. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for a vlog because I'm back. I'm not ill anymore. I'll see you. Bye. Yeah.